What's up, YouTube? How you doing? I'm so excited. Coming to you guys today real quick on my hair looking like this. If y'all have seen any of my videos or subscribed to my channel, uh, you know obviously that I'm natural. That I did the big chop about two and a half years ago. It'd be three years in December. And I'm not too big on, and I've said this time and time again, not too big on um, protective styles. Not too big on detangling. Uh, not too big on a lot of stuff. So, I have come to the conclusion. And I, I have pretty good length. When my hair is straightened, if you... It's, 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 um, I want to say collarbone length. I think that'd be about right. Or it was last time when I got it straightened, but then I did get a trim, so. But it, I know it's downhill somewhere. I know it's at least to the shoulders. But I'm cutting it. The appointment is made. Um, I guess doing a second bit chop. Uh, I wish I had my phone in here so I could show you what type of cut I'm talking about. If any of you are like on Pinterest, go to my page on there. It's either Brown Love 81, B R O W N L U V 81, one word, or Hope Jones. Mm, same as my YouTube, I think. But uh, and go to my board, Awesome Hair, and like you can get the general idea of what I'm going for. Basically, a tapered look, short in the back, and the sides, and some heights through here. So yeah, um, and I'm coloring it because you know I love the color. So I stopped at Sally's and I got Ion Color Brilliance in light burgundy brown. I'm hoping the swatched look beautiful. So I hope this works. And a 30 cream developer. I'm not doing it myself. I'm having a professional do it. The same lady, Gwendolyn Johnson, who did my twist. Um, and then I got uh, Beyond the Zone Shock Therapy shocking detoxing for your hair i guess it's like a really deep conditioner that you is made for leaving in your hair overnight and you wash out in the morning but um i'm so excited like i was like getting a lot of grief um from my mother not so much my boyfriend because my boyfriend knows i'm gonna do what i want uh my son's father um couple of friends oh your hair is so pretty when you have a flat iron it's so long and it flows and all this other stuff why are you gonna cut it because I want to because it's my hair because I can okay and I've been y'all know I've been debating and going back and forth when I went to go get those twists that wasn't the goal the goal was to go in there to get the haircut but she was like, try some other styles for us. I was like, sure. But now I'm like, no, cut this. So I think what really changed for me, I saw African Export here on YouTube. I'm subscribed to her. I love her. Um, she did a book chop. She had long, gorgeous, thick, natural hair. Like, Honey Child was swinging it. And she cut off her hair. And I was like, is she's got the goal, the nerve. The confidence to do this and when so many people follow her because she's a YouTube national 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 a YouTube star for natural hair yes I can tell um if she has another start over because she wants to then why not me so um I mean that's not the only reason I do have concerns about my hair I started I want it to be natural to have a healthy scalp and healthy hair. I suffer from severe dandruff. Um, you know, one of the reasons why I went natural is because when I had a perm, whoever put it in, I can't remember who, but whoever put it in, it wasn't all washed out. And I lost, I, I had like a nice little bald spot right in the middle of my head. So I tried to cover that up by getting a weave. It was my first weave. It was my last weave. And, well, besides braids. I'm talking about like a sew-in. And as soon, literally, I took that out, I cut my hair. So, 
and went natural because that was the most god awful thing ever like I kudos to those chicks who can wear weaves for weeks and months on time I can't do it my scalp was so itchy I mean when I took that hair out flakes was just flying it was like snow just blah so right now until I can get my scalp health in order it just makes more sense for me to have short hair um, what I'm about to do to prepare for tomorrow which I probably should have been doing for like at least the past week is doing a protein treatment I, I have done a couple of cholesterol treatments but I really you should do protein treatments before and probably after you color your hair but I'm going to give myself and I've never done it before but I've been researching it um, a, a apple cider vinegar um, wash I guess like you mix a couple of teaspoons, tablespoons, whatever. I got I to gotta go back and look up the recipe with some water and spray that in your hair and massage it. And I guess it's like a really good clarifier. So I'm going to do that. And then um, obviously I'm going to comb and detangle my hair. Um, plait it up or deep condition, plait it up, rinse that out, I guess. Not deep condition, just regular condition. Rinse that out and then put this in here and plait it up for the night and then rinse it out in the morning because my hair appointment is at 12 o'clock so because I want my hair my hair dries really quickly my hair and I air dry my hair I don't use heat um I wash my hair every day co-wash my hair every day um so by the time like I leave here at 9 15 gotta be at work at 9 45 um it's about a 25 30 minute drive when I leave here, like fresh out the shower, my hair is wet. By the time I get to work with the windows cracked, especially with as hot as it's been, my hair is dry. So my hair dries really quick. So um yeah. So I'm gonna let it air dry and go and get the cut and get the color. And I'm so excited and I can't wait. And what I'm about to do right now, this is a long video, but I'm just like really excited. I'm about to clean my bathroom. And not to say that it's not clean, but what I mean specifically, I'm about to throw up all my makeup, throw up, throw out all my makeup because you're only supposed to have makeup for a certain amount of time. And I know I don't wear makeup often enough that the stuff I do have, I probably have had for over a year, except for that bare minerals and a couple other items. I'm not talking about like facial cleansers and, and wipes. Those are still fairly new. I'm talking about like my old foundations and lipsticks and stuff like you know everything has a shelf life and I know this stuff has probably been sitting around for a while so I feel like you know since this is my day off and I'm gonna go and get a big chop and a new color I feel like I need a mini makeover so I will be going to Ulta or Sephora or both because there's brands of each one that I want to try and get a couple things so I will do another video tomorrow to show the hairstyle and possibly some makeup on this here beautiful face so I could be beat to the gods you know snatch honey I don't know I'm just so excited but yeah so wish me luck I'm I'm praying that I don't come back being like she oh my god but ah! okay okay I will check in with y'all later peace YouTube